Holy crap, I didn't even get the camera set up. Didn't even have the camera set up. Just was getting ready to go. Already got one. Didn't even take a couple seconds. Barely even got the underwater camera turned on in time, so hopefully you'll see that. First fish within the first five minutes. It's gonna be a good day, hopefully. Get that back. Whew. Didn't even have the camera set up yet. <sighs> All right, hopefully you guys got to see that first fish. I'm not sure if I even got the camera on for it, but we already got a fish on the ice when I was getting set up. I just had the jig down just so that I could get the underwater set up and see it, but it came in and hit right away. So I think I caught it on that camera. I might've got it on this one. So hopefully you guys got to see that. It's gonna be a good day. We're back on the same pond. We got the, uh, the camera down and uh, hopefully we can get some fish. Today we are going to be trying a new bait. And that bait is whole kernel corn. We're gonna try corn today and see what happens. So right now I got a wax from down, but I'm gonna throw a dead stick with corn. Like I said, like I said in that last video, you saw that they were eating full of corn, so let's see what happens. There here comes one. Here he comes. He's hot on it. We're getting this fish. Come on, buddy, come back. We're getting this fish. Come on. No, I missed it. Here, come back. Let's see if he hits a dead one. There's nothing on him. I don't, he took my wax for it. That one came in pretty hot, but he was a little finicky. He got the tip of the wax from like a bluegill almost. Here we go. having a hard time seeing if they get it or not this morning. I mean, that one opened his mouth like he had it. That one really came to check it out. That one was spooked as can be by it. Another one came and gone. We're gonna try and do something different here. So now I've barely got the wax rope hooked, so hopefully that back half of it will get a little bit more wiggle. And if they're still not looking at it, I'm gonna try and find the smallest wax rope that I got and downsize as much as I can. I thought they might be looking at the hook, but at that time, I mean, I've had the hook completely covered up and that wasn't doing much for me. So now I'm gonna leave it so that I can get a lot of wiggle on the wax worm without much action, so we'll see what happens. Here we go, another one. Two of them. Gee, there we go. Oh my god! Oh my god! He, oh, there's a whole school of them. I mean, that one smoked it. How did I not hook them? There was five or six of them. Here's another one. Nothing. school like that come in and they're not being aggressive that's rough I mean I've been out here for a little over an hour so all the fish that you guys have seen have been in the first hour and there's probably some I'm not even including and they're not biting flying didn't even slow down. Oh. 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 He had it in his mouth like three times. Here we go. 
Oh, finally, finally, my goodness. He ate it three times. This is a good one. I mean, there's a whole bunch in the back. Now, this is a pretty fish. Let's see if I can get it in, though. There we go. Maybe the bite window turned on. Let me try to jump out of the hole. This is a bigger fish. This is a bigger fish. Nice fish. Really dotted up. This is a nicer fish. Don't. Don't. Look at how many spots are on this fish. They're just beautiful spotted fish. Nice rainbow pink line with the pink cheeks. This is a pretty fish. Finally, got another one. It might be starting to turn on. There was four or five on there, and this one, he bit it like three or four times as you saw on the camera. So there's a pretty fish. Let's let this one go, get a good look at her. We'll get her back down the hole and try and get another one. Finally got one to bite. Bit like four times too. Couldn't get the hook in him. I was just about to switch and try and jig the corn and leave the wax room as the dead stick, but maybe the bite window has started. Got a second one. You guys saw that one. I mean, it bit like three or four times and I couldn't ever tell if the hook was in it. I didn't want to set it out of its mouth because I did that in the last couple fish. So I waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. At one point, it even took it away, basically. And then I saw it open its mouth and I thought, it's gotta have. Oh, here's another one. Thought it had to have it, but it didn't. And finally, 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 here we go. Still finicky, but we're seeing tons of fish. There's plenty of fish on the camera. Just gotta find the right ones that wanna bite. I don't even remember what my what they like, what that fish liked. I think it was almost just sitting still. I was just wiggling it back and forth a little bit, so maybe I gotta just really be real, really, really touchy with it. Almost use the line. Sometimes you can just hold the line and get real fine little wiggle with it, but seeing a ton of fish. They're just very, very, very tight lipped. Very opposite of how they were last time. So I just noticed on my bait that I had a pretty large tag end hanging off my knot that, I don't know, I'm searching for reasons that they might not bite and that could be one of them. There's a pretty big tag. We got one coming in right now so we might be able to test my theory right off the bat here. Doesn't really want to bite. Like I said, there's a pretty large tag end on my knot, which they could be seeing it, I guess. It's two pound test. It's, I don't, I doubt that that's the problem, but grass mat straws. Going up to the wax work. Trying the corn. Oh, trying it again. Oh, I missed it. So they just want whatever's moving. That's what that tells me. Which with the corn, might be a little easier for them to get in their mouth. It's smaller.
fixing my drag and I got a fish and I got no drag. As you can hear, this isn't a big fish, but I got my drag set way loose. I mean, this is, oh, I lost him in the hole. It was a little coho, actually. I mean, I got no drag right now. Pretty much just free spooled that fish. That sucks. And took my corner. That was a little coho. It looked like it was tiny. Didn't even, like, I mean, my goodness. I got fiddling with my drag, and of course the fish comes in. Grab another piece of corn. At least I think it was. It was a pretty silver fish. Could have been just a young, a young rainbow. But decided to check my drag because I haven't used this rod in a while. And as you just saw, so hopefully the next fish doesn't get away. I didn't get a hook in that fish at all. I lost it in the hole. That was chaos. So here's another one. Let's see if we can get one of these guys to bite. Oh, they're looking at my wax worm. Those guys wanted the wax worm and not the corn. Maybe I need to get the wax worm back down there. That's a nice fish. Those are both nice fish. See, we're seeing tons of them. That's not the issue today. There's plenty of fish. We're in the right spot. We just gotta get one to bite. Ooh, that one came in hot too. Doesn't want it. All right, we're about to switch back to maybe. Another one, two, three. That was about the longest I've went all morning without seeing a fish and it couldn't have been more than five minutes. And then four or five of them come flying in again. I just, one of them looked at my corn a little bit, but nothing again. So for about 45 minutes there, I was seeing a fish every two minutes almost, or at least, if not shorter. And all of a sudden now, getting to about that 9.30 in the morning time, they're starting to be way more spread out, like every five minutes or so, they're still not biting. Kind of the same thing that I saw last time, where about 9.30, 10 o'clock, they just disappeared and I didn't see anything for an hour. So I'm gonna give it a little bit, see if they come in, see if they still wanna, if they even wanna bite, and then we'll uh, decide whether we wanna pack up or keep trying to get a couple more. But it's been, I mean, it's been fast with fish, lots of action, lots of seen a lot, just not catching a lot. So hopefully they, they come in now and maybe they'll turn on a little bit or maybe they just headed somewhere else, we don't know. He's tiny, he is really small. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. Real small fish. Oh, back down the hole, quick release. Didn't even get to show you guys. It was small. I caught it, it hit the ice. But he was only like 10, 10 inches or so, 10, 12. That was a little, 
probably first year stalker fish. He was with three other bigger ones, but hey, we caught a fish. We, maybe they're biting now. Like you saw there, there was three of them. Get the underwater cleared off and get back down there. That's good. Wasn't a big one. Tiny little guy. That was about as big, probably a little bit smaller than the one that I lost in the hole. That's three fish today, which is good. I mean, always that. I mean, normally I would be very, very, very happy with three fish and an hour and a half, two hours of fishing less than that probably but it just makes it worse now that you can see all the fish that you're not getting um and how they're reacting i mean i've seen i, I don't know i'll see when i'm when i look back at the video but there's probably been 30 or 40 fish come in today granted some of those are probably the same fish but it's been non-stop fish on the camera just they don't want to bite and that you saw that little one was with a group of two bigger ones and then the little one ended up being the one to bite so I don't know. See if we can get another one. One that's got a little bit more size to it and actually hang on to it this time. So if you guys are looking for a good underwater camera, um, I would suggest that, I mean, this was a great one if you're looking to stay on a budget. Um, this is a EOYO. It's some Chinese made camera. Um, I believe it was like just under a hundred bucks on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description for you. But it's it's pretty decent as you can see it has pretty good picture it's color only problem is it doesn't record um but it does have good quality it's uh, the battery life on it is pretty long i don't think i've ever killed the battery i've only charged it a handful of times and i've ran it probably 12 15 hours before i've had to charge it and it like i said it gets good camera my only complaint is it's hard to aim i'm not sure i've never had any other camera so i don't know if that's a common occurrence among cameras underwater cameras but it does get good picture and as you can see, you can see the fish, and it's a lot more fun. A lot of fun to fish with underwater camera. You see how the fish are reacting, and in this case, not reacting. But I would highly suggest this one. I'll throw it in the, the description, like I said. There we, go. there we go, right on cue. Oh my God. This fish has an ugly spot on it. I don't know if it's got a lamprey spot. You saw it on the camera. Wow, that was fast. We were struggling. Struggling for a minute there. This guy wants to fight. Come back. I thought I was just getting ready to leave. I was getting ready to leave. I don't know where this fish is. Oh, he's right here. This is a nasty looking fish. Wait till we get him through the hole. Oh my God. This is a nice big fish. Look at the side of this thing. We gotta get this guy back in the water. He's not doing so hot. He's not doing so hot. All right, if I can get a hold of him. This is a bigger fish. This is definitely a bigger fish. See if I can not drop him in the hole. First, I'll show you the ugly side. This guy. I mean, look at that, nasty. You can basically see the meat on there. It's all bloodied up. Oh, that's kind of gross. But it's a nice fish, real good fish. Nice little rainbow. We'll get him back. That's probably from a slime coat coming off. Get him back. Back down swimming healthy. That's four today. We got four. I was just about to go home. I was just about to be done. Like I said, just, I don't know. That was cool. That was cool. Oh so, yeah, we caught, that was an ugly looking fish, but it was a nice one. It was a big fish had some sort of infection on the side there Whew. that guy came in and just smoked it that was awesome that was pretty cool so that puts that four fish today which is good i mean that was weird they haven't been coming in like that all day and he just came in and drilled it that was a nicer fish a little bit bigger than what we've been getting so that feels real good to get fourth fish to the day all right we're gonna wrap it up here today we had quite a bit of action especially on the underwater camera so hopefully you liked that if you did i'd really appreciate it if you if you hit that like button um hopefully we'll be having some more videos here soon and getting out in the open water i tried to take the kayak out yesterday and couldn't get past the ice so hopefully we'll have one of those coming soon as well and i'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel you'll be able to be notified when those videos come out here soon thank you again for watching i really appreciate it get out go fishing and keep on swinging